Hello, my name is Dario Khabib. I am PhD in physics from Michigan State University and postdoctorate at the Technion Inst Israel Institute of Physics in Haifa, Israel, in the 70s, and since then, Chief Technology Officer of CI Systems. My first lecture will be on circular variable filters. Circular variable filters are interference narrow band pass filters deposited on circular substrates called segments. Film thickness and therefore the wavelength of peak transmittance varies linearly and continuously with the angular position on the segment. The wavelength of a beam of light traversing this disk near its circumference is scanned by rotation of the disk. Therefore, in one turn of the CVF, one can measure the signature of an object to be studied. The design principles of a variable interference filter is that they are implemented by applying a set of graded high and low index of refraction layers, as in the figure attached. The layers create one quarter wavelength cavities, and so different wavelength is, are transmitted at each position along the graded surface as shown in the same image. There is uh, a special tooling that uh, CI Systems has developed and owns in order to achieve this kind of coating. This uh, image shows a graph of the center of the peak at each position of the disk as a function of angle all around the circumference of the disk. And from this image we see that uh, this uh, wavelength, the wavelength of the peak is proportional to the angle that uh, that peak is transmitted at. This image shows a graph of several different peaks as measured by a high resolution spectrophotometer at the diff at different positions on the disk. As you can see, the center peak wavelength in different angles, in different positions, is, are in different wavelength positions on the wavelength scale. This example is a circular variable filter between 900 and uh, 1350 nanometers. The next slide shows a similar circular variable filter designed for the 4.3 to 8.1 micron range. We can see here three peaks at uh, 25 degrees, 44 degrees, and 83 degrees. Uh, blocker coatings are usually needed to eliminate side lobes and regions of transmittance outside each peak. They may be coated of, very th of varying thickness and of fixed thickness around the disk. And they are usually defined to block wavelength regions of detector sensitivity outside each peak region. In this uh, graph, you can see the spectrum of optical density of a blocker filter coating in the range of uh, 1,000 to 5,000 nanometers the optical density is the negative logarithm at, at base 10 of the transmittance of the filter. So at the position of the peak, you can see near the 2,000 nanometer wavelength, the optical density is, is almost zero, is low, very low, because the transmittance is very high. But outside the range of about 1,800 to 2,000, and nanometers, the optical density is very high, even three orders of magnitude higher than uh, at the peak wavelength. This means that the transmittance at outside that region is very low, down to the order of a tenth of a percent. Uh, so this shows how the blocker filter uh, works. This slide shows a list of all the segments types developed by CI in the last couple of years. Uh, there are six segments covering the whole range from uh, 0 0.4 uh, microns to 14.5 microns. Uh, the 
segment 5A, 5B, and 6 cover the visible to near infrared range, and segments 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, cover the range from 1.3 to 14.3 microns. Since the segments, as seen in the figure, uh, have a 90 degree shape, when uh, we glue four segments of consecutive ranges in one wheel, we, co we can cover with two wheels the whole uh, range from visible to 4.3 microns. An additional type of uh, circular variable filter that CI has developed lately is what we call a high resolution infrared circular variable filter. This is a very special uh, type of CVF in the range of 7.7 .7 to 12.6 microns. What is special about it is that uh, the width of the peaks at the different positions around the circumference are very, very tight, very narrow. Uh, we go down to 0.5% of the wavelength, whereas the types that I've shown you before in the previous slide, we get to resolution, spectral resolutions of 1.5 to 2% of the wavelength. Uh, here in this slide, I show um, the measurement results of transmittance at different positions around the circumference of a high resolution circular variable filter. We can see here five peaks um, between 7.8 and uh, 12.6 microns, and they are all uh, within the specification of 0.5% uh, peak width. This uh, graph shows um, one of the peaks that I was shown in the previous slide. Uh, this is shown in a zoomed uh, fashion where the wavelength scale is zoomed so that uh, it is easier from here to calculate the width and the percentage uh, spectral resolution. Uh, this slide shows um, one of the same peak uh, in a uh, much zoomed uh, Y scale or transmittance scale showing the blocking capability of the type of blocker that we have uh, used for this high resolution uh, circular variable filter. We can see from here that the uh, highest peaks of the blocker of the blocked region reach uh, the maximum of about 0.2 percent transmittance. In this slide I show that uh, a circular variable filter segment can be used not only with the other segments comp making, a, making up a whole 360 degree filter, but uh, it can be used with uh, other types of filters which are not uh, circular variable filters. They can be bandpass filters or any other type of filters. And even in combination with the window, uh, which is actually a hole drilled in the, in the wheel, and this is used for uh, measuring the same target, the same object, in an integrated wavelength range. The circular variable filter advantages as a monochromator can be summarized in the following list. Uh, if we compare a CVF with interferometers, it is not affected by vibrations. It is usually less expensive. It is much easier to align optically in the system. And uh, finally, the data acquired are easier to process. If we compare a CVF uh, with gratings and prisms type uh, monochromators, what happens with CVFs, we can usually attain a larger spectral range of transmittance. Uh, it can be a more uniform throughput across the range and it again like in the interfer towards the interferometers it they are easier to align optically in the system
As a conclusion, uh, I can say that CI System is proud to be the only company in the world to produce and supply CVFs covering all wavelength ranges from the visible to the infrared.